All right, today I'm going to make this little desk lamp here, and it's pretty much a, a video for relative beginners like myself. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to Blender, and I've put my sort of reference background image. This was, this was one that I already made. Okay, so reference image is in here. It's something I got off the internet so I could just have a look at it periodically. And uh, we're gonna be doing that. And I'm gonna start with this sort of curved thing here. All right, so I'm in front view. I don't know if that's where I wanna be, but we'll start it there. So shift A, mesh cylinder, leave it at 32. And uh, let's just go back to solid color. I'm gonna scale this down. Sort of like that, scale it in the Z as well. I want it pretty small. I'm gonna be using an array for this. So uh, i come in here and um, I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'll put a couple of uh, edge loops in there, uh, scale it in the Z. Uh, I mean, not too much. We'll try it. And I'm gonna grab all these faces and I'm gonna go E and scale shift Z and I'm gonna pull it out a bit, just like that. And I think I will, now I'm just gonna leave it at like that. Um, actually, I wanna get rid of these faces now that I think about it. I wanna get rid of that face. I wanna get rid of that face. No, I'm not gonna need those. Okay, so that's the, the piece I'm gonna, I'm gonna use and I'm going to array this. So modifier, array, believe it's in the Z. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna give it a count of, of whatever. That's probably gonna be too big, so I'm just gonna scale it down again. And this is gonna use a lot of polys, but uh, now I'll, um, I'll go ahead and I'll put on a sub uh, surface. Actually, no, I don't think I wanna do that. Uh, that's, that's gonna take up, that's gonna give me too much. So I think I'll just, Smooth it. Let's try smoothing it and adding. Let's see how what an edge split looks like. Okay, I think I'll, I'll, I'll. What I could do actually, now that I think about it, and I didn't do this before, maybe I'll try beveling oops, that edge and that edge. Let's see if I can, first of all, if I can do this right now. Okay, hang on a second. Do uh, scale. Let's see if that makes any difference. <laughs> Those buttons are so close on my keyboard. Let's try this again. And we can get a bit of a bevel. I'll put one segment in there. I'll go with that and I'll worry about the smoothing angle uh, maybe a little bit later. Okay. So, so far so good. Now, uh, the way that I'm gonna get this to curve is I'm going to also add in a curve uh, path. And I'll go uh, rotate Y90. Let's bring it up a little bit. Edit. And um, I'm just going to curve it over like that. It's actually probably going to be that's too too big, so maybe I'll scale it down like this. And I'm going to take my array and I'm going to add on a curve modifier. Where to go? Curve right down here, and I will choose that path. And I'm going to um, what did I do? This, Let's zoom in. Okay, now I think I am gonna make it a bit smaller and I will just add more segments. And again, it's gonna be kind of, there's gonna be a lot of polys here, but I don't worry too much. So let's say I do it like that. Okay, it's not gonna look exactly the same. That's, that's totally fine. I mean, if I wanted to um, mess with the, with the uh, the curve I could you know 
if I didn't if I didn't like that shape. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave that for now. And um, I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and see if I can apply them in this order. That, and that, and that. And I don't need the curve anymore. And that's what I've got. Okay, now what I'll do is I will do this bottom part here. So, I come into here. Let's just uh, grab all these. Uh, I'm gonna strew them down one and uh, scale Z zero. Straighten them out. And uh, I'll do it one more time. Actually, no. I think I'll start. I'll start making that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, actually, I need to put. I'm gonna, I want to put a face on there. And I'm gonna go uh, E, scale shift Z, and uh, bring it out. And then E, extend, extrude it, and bring it down like this. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll put in edge loop there. <coughs> I'll put one other in here in case I, I might happen to need it. I'll just have a look at that. Okay, looks decent. Now, um, what I could do is instead of uh, putting that right up there, just bring it down, I could see if I can bevel this edge. Control B and just pull it back and I might just put, just put one uh, ring in there for now. And that's there. That makes that a little bit of a nicer transition. All right. Um, this base is going to be some is a separate piece, so I'll I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go uh, Shift A, and I'm going to make a circle. Let's look from the top and bring it down. And I'll go into edit mode. Oh, geez, did I add a path or something? How did that happen? Shift A, yeah, I was on the wrong one. Circle, scale it down. Edit mode, add a face. And then I'm going to extrude it down. And then I'll move it down a bit too. So I'm going to go down to here. All right, and then I'm going to do this, uh, this lip part down there. All right, so it's down to there. And I'm going to go E, uh, scale, shift, Z to bring it out. And extrude it one more time down a little bit like this. Now I'm going to grab all those uh, polys and uh, recalculate them outside. Now we need to make this more rounded, so um, I think I will do apply scale just in case I need that. Go to edge mode, grab this, Control B, and pull back, and I'll I'll make it a nice. I'll add say three uh, segments in there. And let's have a look at that. All right, now if I go ahead and I do a subdivision surface on that um, and smooth it, it starts to look nice, but I lose some definition here, so I'll put another edge, edge loop there and here and there. And now I have that. All right, this can slide up, make sure that everything's relatively centered. So it's, it's looking uh, something like that. All right, now I'll go ahead and I'll make this uh, this switch. <clears throat> okay, so to do that, I'm going to just go Shift A, bring in a cube, and scale it down. Bring it over here, scale it down some more. Go to top view. I think I'll hide this. Okay, there it is. Let me make sure ambient occlusion is on. Helps me to to see uh, some shadows. Scale it in the Y and scale it in the Z. Let's bring it up and have a look at it. Scale it in the Z uh, a little bit more like that. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into edit mode. Actually, I think maybe scale it in the X a little bit more and then just scale the whole thing. Okay, all right, so coming in. I'm going to select this top face and go inset and I'll just pull that in and it looks like there's more 
uh, more of an inset on the top and the bottom, so I'll go scale in the X, and do something like that. Hopefully I didn't do too much, and I have enough room to get a switch in there. All right, it's probably well so. I'm gonna extrude this in, E, and pull it down in the Z. And now to make the switch, I'm going to just keep this, this sort of, this poly right there. So I'm gonna go Shift D, accept that, and then I'm gonna go P to make it a new selection, and then I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna grab that new poly and, and take it there. And I'm gonna to go to edit mode, select it, E. I'm going to um, extrude it up. And now I'm going to, uh, in edge mode, I'm gonna grab this edge and I'm gonna pull it up to make this kind of thing. And perhaps I'll pull this one out a little bit. And I pull this one down like that. And then to round it, I'm just going to put, say, three edge loops there. And I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to pull it down like that. This one, pull it down a little bit less. And this one, pull it down even more. Uh, I'm just going to sort of mess around with this till it, it looks somewhat, somewhat rounded. And maybe I'll bring this down even a little further. And therefore, this one. Okay, now, uh, what I'll do is I'll go into object mode and I'll add a subsurf to that. And then go back in and add edge loops on the sides to give it some, some more shape. Like that. I have to look into that and see if that's a problem or not. Let's have a look at that. That looks fine. Now uh, I'm going to shrink the whole thing down a little bit so that it, it looks like it actually would fit in here. You know, something, something like that, but maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so, and of course, we're gonna be at a, at a good enough distance. Um, maybe it is a little bit too short. Scale it in the X. And uh, that's fine. And I wanna go into this this one. I think I'll do by uh, apply, apply scale. Uh, yeah, and when that happens, uh, sometimes it'll flip the poly. So just go in here, go normals, recalculate outside. And now I'm gonna go into edge mode and just grab this uh, whole top and I'm gonna bevel this. So I'm gonna go to control B, pull back on my mouse and I'll give it, you know, just one division. That'll catch some light, look a little bit smoother. Now if I try to smooth it, I, I don't need to though, okay? So now let's just make sure that this is sitting on the surface. And I can, I can uh, make this, uh, no I can't. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this subdivision surface and then I can join these together. Maybe I won't do that yet. Let me make sure that all my polys are outside. And uh, see if I do that and I have a problem, maybe I can put all the polys outside again and see if I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay now. Okay, so, so far so good. That would be that. Bring back the gooseneck part. And uh, let me make sure that it's in the right position. Uh, let's uh, uh, go Z. It's just about there. Oh. Okay, good. So far, so good. Okay, and now it's time to make... Uh, well, I guess I'll do this end part here. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to come into my gooseneck, is that what you call it? And I'm gonna grab this final edge here. All right, and let's do that. And I'm going to switch to normal. And I'm gonna go um, P. Eh. It's going to get all funny, so I'm just going to scale it. And e, and let me just not do that, maybe. Hmm. Actually, yeah, well, that's fine. It's weird, eh? When you put, uh, when you extrude it like that, 
well I think maybe I'll bring it out scale shift Z. let me try this oh boy I'm having some, some troubles that I didn't have before um, scale in the X nah oh well now I'm frustrated scale shift X all right sorry if I, I get some issues with uh, with that boy gee I thought I thought I was uh, better able uh, to, to do this let's um, let's go back a couple steps was not fun that was not 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 a lot of fun um, now let me uh, do a bit more work on this and fix that up it really was not fun doing that um, I think what I can do is grab this whole row e, and scale that up just to give some kind of uh, sense of in ending there and um, I guess I've got smooth on there is that right I've got smooth and it's looking a little weird so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try this and if I like that which I do I will now try to bevel this a little bit just with one okay so that helps that a little bit and I think I think I think I'm gonna leave that for the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and work on the uh, the lamp itself wow geez everything came back there we go okay this part here so I'm going to go to um, I guess I'll just uh, go in front mode for the timing, and uh, let's work on another layer here. Bring in a cylinder, scale it down. I'll do the back part here, and then I'll sort of widen it. So it's sort of like uh, two thirds to one third, or actually maybe even almost closer than that. So I'll come into here and face select mode. And make sure that's fine there, just like that. And I'll go um, E, and I'll, um, I'll scale shift Z. Let's bring it up. So be something like that. E, and I'll bring it straight. And then I'm going to inset a little bit. E and I'm gonna bring this in, but I'll scale, I'll scale it. Scale from Z, just down like that. Okay, and um, I will also in edge mode put a little bit of a bevel on this, on there, and at the back even more, maybe two. 
two. And I think maybe I'll just do this one as well. And I'll leave the inner one sharp. Let's see what that, that's looking like. Okay, I'm gonna put on a subdivision surface of say two and we'll smooth it. And I need a, a more of a, of a delineation here. Okay, that kind of thing. I'll come into here and I'll put on in there. And I will get that kind of look. Now we're not gonna be looking into there, so that's not going to, to matter. I could sharpen that up a little bit as well, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this back to my first layer. And bring it up and over. And I want to rotate it, rotate it Y, start with 90 or minus 90. And okay, that's good. And now we're gonna rotate in the Y. And I'll just sort of position this. It's not bad. Just gonna do it something like that. Okay, I think we're just about ready to have a look at this. Um, I'll uh, create a little base for this of some sort. I'll just shoot it down just a little bit to something very simple like that. Uh, make sure all the polys are facing the right way. Just, just something like that. So if we do bring back, oh, we'll get rid of that one. I'll slide this forward. I got a bunch of other lights in there. We'll see if any of them are pointing at, the, at it correctly. Obviously, some of these are not, so. We'll try that. And okay, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'll uh, go ahead and put some materials on this and uh, I may have them already pre-made. Got some black. Let's go over to material view. And I want uh, all this to be black. I know what my problem was be was here. I actually created this as a separate piece in uh, the last time. And for some reason I just extended it off here. and. Uh, that gave me a bunch of grief, so I, sh I probably shouldn't have done that. So I want this all black, and I'll make this just, uh, I, don't, I don't know what, white like that. Um, let's have a look at this and see if it's looking, it's in rendered view. Okay, so we want to, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of that white on the inside of the lamp like that, okay? So let's just uh, here. I'm gonna hide the grid. Where's my display? There it is. There we go. So we're coming to here, and I'm just gonna select all those faces, and make them that white. So when I come back out here, okay, we look from rendered view, we'll see some of that, some of that white there as well, as well. Okay, so, um, 
Actually, I might want to make this a little bit smaller. A small little, little stand. All right, so I'll go ahead and, and, and render this uh, and we'll come back, but I may actually have to turn this so that we see the white a little bit better. So let me actually do that first. Um, I think I'm going to, um, let's see if I'm just in global, rotate around the X, or am I gonna have a problem? I mean, this thing could bend in all kinds of directions. Anyhow, that's the whole point of it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I'll give it, uh, and uh, and we'll see if I have to adjust uh, some some lights uh, and all that. All right, so I'll be back after I uh, give this a quick render. And there it is, all done. My very simple desk lamp, and uh, that was a lot of fun to to make that. Okay, see you later.